then I'll become a Tolis, a Tolis YouTuber, and you don't want that to happen, because then if you're missing a toe because you were silly and didn't go to the doctor, then people call you Tolis Ken, and that wouldn't be very funny, so. All right, so hi everyone, it's Carly, and as you can tell, I don't want to get ready yet. My hair is a disaster. Now I'm just wearing random clothes, I really don't even care. And I'm actually letting the cats roam around outside and go in the garage or out of the garage and let them do whatever they kind of want to. And I check on them every once in a while. And look, neither of them are even going out. Like, so I tried to let Daisy have a quick glance at Dander because Dander was just sitting there. So I was trying to get Daisy closer to the cats because all the rest of the dogs are pretty much really close to the cats. They don't fight with each other and stuff. But Daisy's the only dog who does not like the cats still. She's going out. And poor Dander here. So Daisy was like being all nice. She wasn't growling. She wasn't doing anything. But at one second, she just tried to attack Dander. Of course, I put her far away. At least I put her far enough away that she couldn't touch Dander. But Dander got really scared. And I feel bad now. It's okay, kitties. Oh, you're trying to get up here. Are you? You want to be in the vlog? Ivy wants to be in the vlog. Aww. Ivy never kisses me, but every single time I come out to the garage, I make them both kiss me because I want them to be really friendly to like everyone. Oh my gosh! Literally, that's so annoying. So there's like this little hammock thing, and it has like, like I'll show you. So there's this little hammock thing, and it has like these little things that are on the hooks, and they unhook them every single time, and that's what she's trying to do. Come on. Yeah, but then here's what they do. They unhook it and then watch. When they jump down from that hole, they all fall. So it's not good. See, look, chewing on that. I was supposed to tell you guys like where they've been going. So either Ivy likes going in there, Dander likes going in there. Ivy likes going in here and so does Dander and they both love it up here. But every once in a while they both lay up in these blankets. All right, I'd say good morning, but it's not really morning, it's afternoon, although we just had breakfast. It is uh, Saturday, 79 degrees, sunny with some clouds, yeah, I'd say probably 50% clouds. Anyways, if you remember, about two weeks ago, Ryan's from Ryan's Den was over and we were um, unhooking the, uh, the trailer from the Polaris and while we were pulling up the swing arm um, I went to catch that and we both slipped off of it and it landed on my toe so now for about uh, two weeks I've been procrastinating you know getting it looked at it feels good in the you know I'd soak in the tub in the evenings and um, usually feel good while I was sleeping and then obviously walking around during the day due to blood flow I should say and walking around on it it gets irritated during the day so I think it's infected so I need to at least go get it checked out maybe get on some antibiotics so some of this um, pain goes away so uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm probably about a, about a 4 pain it's not too bad but um, I st right now it isn't, I should say. But I still should get it looked at so I don't lose my toe. And then I'll become a toeless, a toeless YouTuber. And you don't want that to happen because then if you're missing a toe because you were silly and didn't go to the doctor, then people call you toeless Ken. And that wouldn't be very funny, so. All right, so here's the toe. I know you don't want to look at feet. Toenail's dead. It's all red around it, so it's not in good shape. Sorry to gross you out, but...
guys have your child with you at the breakfast table? This is your child, Lily. You get to take him home tonight. Take care of him. <laughs> All right, so the verdict is in. I'm gonna keep my toe. They're not gonna take it, so. The uh, nail is still in good tact, even though it's off in some areas, but it's in good places for it to uh, heal, and the new nail will grow underneath. If they take it off, then I'll get an ingrown toenail, and then we'll be in a whole nother mess. So they put some ointment on it, prescribed me some antibiotics, and should be good in a couple days. And um, the sad part was I haven't had a tetanus shot in a long time. They asked me and I couldn't remember. So I got a tetanus shot in the right arm. I hate shots, but in this case, I barely even felt it. So it was a quick poke, and um, I'm sure I'll be sore for the next three days in my right arm. That's what they say. So I hit it in my right arm because that's where all my beef beefiness is. And I get to use it for an excuse when I don't have to lift anything. I'll say, oh, my right arm, it hurts so bad. So I'm in good shape and I'm keeping the toe. So I won't be toeless, uh, toeless Ken or toeless Joe or whatever you want to call me. So. so guys, I finished cleaning house a little bit ago. Ken finally just got home from urgent care. I think he shared with you what's been going on with his toe and he's been acting like a big baby. How many times does your dad complain about his toe daily? Five, five, or five times a minute. <laughs> so you guys know I'm a huge fan of like teen movies. Like I know I'm in my 40s, but that's okay. I love reading teen books. Oh, I, I love the movies. So today we're actually going to see the movie Wish Upon that just came out. If you guys didn't see the previews, it's about a 17 year old girl Girl, and basically her dad gives her this like special box and she opens it up and learns that it will grant her some wishes so she starts wishing for things like a boyfriend money and all these wishes start coming true but then people in her life start dying and all this bad stuff starts happening so it looks really good so all of us are going well andrew's working so he can't go but blake's bringing lily carly's going to bring emily from dan you guys haven't seen her in a long time so that should be fun they sent us a really cool box that has some wish upon movie promotional items that carly's going to open up right now and share with you guys and then we're going to tell you about the giveaway where you can actually win one of these prize packages with everything that we got you guys can receive one too so we'll only be able to select one winner to receive the whole prize package unfortunately we wish we could give out tons and tons more Carly's gonna open it see what's inside and then we're gonna go see the movie we're gonna tell you guys our thoughts about the movie and all that good stuff okay so you can follow them on Facebook Twitter and Instagram they're all wish upon movies they're all the same right there if you want to learn more about the movie check it out or if you go see the movie use the hashtag wish upon yeah and their slogan for the movie is be careful what you wish for so this first thing is really cool it's actually like a ring light for your cell phone oh where you like you can take selfies yeah that's that. exactly what it is so we'll have to try that out you know how it's like dark in the movies <laughs> and you so we'll try it out oh, in the movies it. won't that be cool oh you can control yeah. the brightness let's see so yeah, it's this little cell phone ring lights, the first gift item. And then next is some cool nail polish. The actress who plays the main role, she's a pretty popular actress. Have you ever seen any other movies that she's been in? Yeah. So the actress who plays the lead role her, uh, in the movie, it's, her name is Claire, but Joey King is her this real is, name. Ooh, this is like the same one as that one, but it's purple. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I know who she is. I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, she's been in a ton of other movies. This is what she looks like. I've seen know. plenty of movies with her in it. Really? Oh, I'm excited. I'm actually excited because Ryan Felipe plays her dad in the movie. Felipe. I like Cake. him. <laughs> oh, so there's a purple one. <gasps> this one's like a gray Ooh, black. Ooh, that'll be cool. Dip. <laughs> Dibs, like we can't share. There's a huge box in here. 
All right, so this is the cool thing. Can I just rip it? You're gonna love it. So this is a replica of the box that she gets in the movie from her dad. It's gonna look exactly the same as the one in the movie. Wait, it's the one that they use? But the cool part, it's not the one, but oh. it's like the, it's gonna look exactly the same. The cool part speaker. is you plug it in and it's a speaker. Isn't it cool? That's Bluetooth too. So you'll be able to use it in your room so we can have our speaker back that you stole. <laughs> Ooh, wait, that wait, even wait. looks scary. <laughs> Doesn't look like a box wait, I would wait, wanna. Where do you plug this into? Who's this? Song. Yeah. <laughs> it was right. Isn't that cool? It's it's also transportation. Yeah. And you can also hide stuff in it. Yeah. Or you can make some wishes and see if they come true. Yeah. <laughs> what would you wish for? More cats. <laughs> More cats. Okay. So if you would like to win one of these prize packages for yourself. You're going to answer our question of the day, which you're going to stick around to the end of the video to learn what that question of the day is, and that's going to be your entry. And we're only going to give it probably two days, and then we'll select a winner. So good luck, and we're off to the movies. So we're inside the movie Wish Upon. Right now they're kind of just showing commercials. So we're a little early. We like to get this front row here. So we can put our legs up. So you excited? We got your icy, got popcorn. Emily's with us. <laughs> Did you just drop popcorn? Yep. <laughs> and we have Lily and Blake, and Chase is down there somewhere hiding. Lonesome Chase again. Didn't bring a date once again. <laughs> All right, so we just got done with the movie. I thought it was pretty good. A lot of things happened that I had like no idea that was gonna happen. It's really crazy. What do you think? Never a dull moment. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was kind of scary at some points. Yeah. A lot of parts I was covering my face, and when everyone walked out, they said it was funny, and I didn't really think it was that funny. It was more scary. All right, Lily, what'd you think? I thought it was pretty good. I've seen you covering your face a few times. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of scary. Mom had it sweaty, you had sweaty hands. Yeah, Ken checked my hands a couple times. Yeah. My hands are sweaty. Yeah. I thought it was good. It went like every second something intense was happening. That's what I thought was like making me so stressed out. It was very, what's the word? Full of intense action, I guess, and suspense. Suspense. So we are back home. Everybody's kind of getting ready for bed for the night. So Carly's cuddling Bye. with Tori as Sasser. usual. Sasser. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fun day. It was nice going to the movies and getting out of the house for a little bit, especially because it was so humid outside today. All right, so to enter the giveaway, if you guys want to win the Wish Upon gift package box with all the things that we showed you earlier, just comment below the answer to the question of the day, which is, if you could wish for one thing, what would it be? And obviously this isn't going to be like, like the movie, if you wish someone's going to die. If you could wish for one thing, what would it be? Sure. Answer that below, and in a couple days, we will pick a winner. We'll get in contact with you, and then uh, we'll get your package sent out to you guys. So, thanks for watching today. Please thumbs up this video. Make sure you're subscribed. And would you like to answer the question of the day, or you just want to? More cats. More cats. Oh, yeah, you already did. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>